I want to show you something here. This is going to be a quick video. If you reach under here and you push this button and nothing happens, you don't hear a click or anything, or you hear a click every now and then, and then it's you press a couple more times, you can't get it open. What you want to do is leave it be. Don't touch it anymore. You need to buy this part. This part sits under here like this. But it sits in here. I'll show you when we put it together. But go ahead and buy this part. Because this unlocks the latch that's right here on the door. That pops this open. So when you hit the trigger, this activates. This activates. And it pulls this which then unlocks this latch and it allows you to open up this door. And uh, here's where the problem lies, is if you can't get this open, you gotta go inside and reach under and pull this whole panel off. I'm not gonna go through all that because I caught it when it first started happening, but here's some tricks to do this. If you can hear it the first couple clicks, then it's just started. Don't touch it anymore. After the first couple clicks, this right here will get weaker and weaker. I'll show you here. This one's the bad one. So if I plug it in, watch it. See? It's okay now. Now if I keep pushing it, See how it gets weaker and weaker like that and if you let this sit for a good while like five to ten minutes it you'll get that strong pull again like right now it's it's too weak to go i don't know if i can unplug it plug it back in no but when you the you let it sit for like 10 minutes and then come out and try it again. When you click it, pop the door open as fast as you can. Once it's open, leave it open. Don't mess with it anymore. All right. So this sits on the bottom side of this. I'll show you when I start putting it back together. This actually fits under the underside. This slides into this hole and this slides into this hole right here but it sits on the underside of this for some reason mine didn't come with the little plastic cover unless it was taken off by someone else or maybe this was already changed before this is a factory part so I don't know I don't know what the idea is but I'm not going to put everything back together, but in order to get this off, you have to remove the trim that goes on the top of here, and then you have to remove this whole panel, where well, you have to remove these in order to get this panel to come off. I'll show you when we put it back together, and you just do it in a reverse order. It's really not that hard. Yeah, this is where your sub sits. I don't even use this sub. I don't even know why I got it back here. But okay, this is what you get. You buy. I got this from Amazon. This is opened up. Throw that back there, and then the cover. Let's take the cover off because you got to pull the cover off first. Uh, cover comes off there like that because you need the cover off. And on my other one, uh, this piece right here sits in this hole right here. And I broke it off trying to take it off. But what you kind of want to do when you're removing this is you kind of want to put a screwdriver like in there like this and twist it. And once you twist it enough, this will pop up 
and it'll be in between there and then you go back over on the other side and you push this the rest of the way through and it'll pop up without breaking these i just got fed up and i just broke it anyway that was my fault but basically this goes in the hole just like this and it will snap in there just like that and then this is going to snap into this hole which is going to be rather tight you're going to need a pair of pliers to put this in there let's get it about right there and pop it in once you pop that in you pop that in you're pretty much done you're then you're going to take this and you go put it over top of there like I said mine did not come with this originally and you're gonna pop that on there just like that pull that shut and then you're gonna put these screws back on what happens is the motor gets weak and that essentially it gets weak and then after it gets so weak it just doesn't work anymore doesn't really make a difference if you buy aftermarket or factory it's going to end up with the same situation it's going to eventually get too weak so whenever you start getting any when you start seeing any uh idea of this thing having issues like pulling out or if you have to push it a couple times to get it out then just go ahead and buy this part the other thing is i will put it down below but you can buy just this part right here this black part piece right here will come off you can pop it off of there by just pushing on both sides and that will pop off of there but you can get this part right here from a ford festiva i think it's a back door latch for a ford festiva i think they run about 15 dollars amazon had this for 30 dollars the reason why i bought this was i could get it faster i could get it the the next day where this one would come tomorrow and I needed it right away so and that and I didn't have the cover and I've already break broke this thing but even if you broke this don't worry about it you can put the pin in this little loop on both sides it's you put a zip tie around it if you get find one from the factory it'll have a zip tie around it that's just a factory way of holding it on but this right here is a Ford product Famico this is a Ford product and you can get these from Ford Festiva and you can pop this off yeah at one point where Ford owned uh, Land Rover they had some Ford parts there I've seen like a couple Ford parts in the LR4 a lot of it isn't but uh, they kept they carried over a few parts but if you get the Ford Festiva part, it's $15. I will put a link down below on what you need to look for to get. But you'll essentially get this part right here. And then you'll snap this off. And you'll get the white part and the spring and this whole mechanism. And you'll take this and you'll snap it onto the new part. The Ford Festiva part. And you can leave the cable and stuff already snapped to this. That's fine just make sure the springs there and once you get it snapped in you take it remove the two screws which I don't know what size they are but these are eight millimeter all right so you're gonna feed the cable back through there you're gonna feed this through and right here is where you're gonna come up so you pull it put your hand on both sides see where the screw comes right here you can see it how it comes through and it's just like this it comes through on both sides just like that 
you're going to push up on it and then you're going to tighten it down push up on the other side and that plug goes right in there to that plug right there that plug and all you have to do is squeeze this and it's going to plug straight in once you get it in there got it in there and now you'll be able to hit the door hear that that's what it's supposed to do make noise now I'm going to show you how to put everything together but basically putting everything together is taking everything apart is a, the opposite of putting everything back together under this this normally goes right here and you can see under this you'll see the hole right here you can buy a new one if you want it's totally up to you now that we got the sound deadener you don't need that well, you can put this back on fill up the holes once you got that filled up then you're going to put this panel back on now in order to put this panel back on you are going to have to remove this and this is 13 millimeter 13 millimeters and you're going to remove this yes you can pop that out of there and yeah but i like to remove this for one it doesn't go through that hole and two i like this to stay tight and replace and see if you drop it in there it won't go any farther sometimes it'll go in and it'll drop behind here and you have to replace you'll have to remove this in order to pull that all out but and then we do the next one not that hard to do just takes a little time you want to put your leg underneath of it because you don't want this thing to drop and it's a little easier to do if you let off some of the pressure on the door because this holds your door open so let that go back in there just like that now I'm holding it up putting it back now this goes just like this on the door panel you then you have to raise this up so that it's up there and this actually snaps you have to make sure all your little snaps are in place which all of them are and then what you're going to do is feed it right over top like that and once it gets over in the right spot it will snap itself right back in and then you come over the other side and you pretty much line it up it'll snap in And that snapped in you can get the middle of this a little bit later so you take your 13 back and you're gonna put your screw back in here I'm still holding it up and you definitely want these tight because I know I sit on this and that one's tight good to go now we go back here to this one Pull the strap out and twist it just like that. Shouldn't take very long. Now it's getting tight. And there it is. That's tight. 
Now, there's one more thing to do. We're going to put this, the cap on top of here. So you're going to take this, and this is the hardest part because if your door does not, does not fasten, you are going to have to go like this. From the, you're going to have to get on the inside, and you're going to have to pull this out. And it's going to pop all those little thingies, and then you have to get to that, that wire in there. So, listen to what I'm telling you. When you first sense there's, it's not opening right, then go buy that part and start using that part. Replace that part. Don't don't uh, think that it's not going to happen because as soon as it starts making that, it's going to do it. You're pretty much going to go back in and fasten this all down. And then you're going to put screws in each one of these holes. And this is just a Phillips screwdriver. Phillips screw. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in. Just like this. Same with the other ones. I'm put the other one in just like the other ones. Once you put them in, then you have these little plastic pieces. All they are is covers. They just snap on. All these covers do is just snap on. Boom. I'm missing one, but it'll work. Just make sure you hear that. That's good. Now now you have everything fixed. And now everything's fixed. You're back to normal. So basically, you're going to remove this piece right here. Four screws. You make sure you take off the little caps off the screws. They are Phillips. Then you're going to take 13 millimeter. You're going to remove this side and that side. And then you're going to pop this whole panel out. And they're just like uh, six or eight little plastic pieces. If you need plastic pieces, buy them. But normally they just pop out. Pop out, boom, you're done. Over here, you're going to have to remove that little panel that goes on the top. When you remove the little foam piece on there, you can buy a new one. It's just there to keep the dirt out of the mechanism. That's what the black cover is supposed to do, is keep the dirt out of the mechanism. That's all it's there for, and I guess it kind of helps the subwoofer, but it's up to you if you want to change it or not. Just putting the cover back over seems to be okay. But remove that. You got your two screws. They are eight millimeters, and you just remove them a little bit, and it'll pop down. You pull your one pin from the side, over here on this side, push down, pull it out, and then you're going to feed this whole thing out of the cable, and you pull the cable. Like I said, I show, uh, showed you before, you just pop the little thing, you can get a, a Festiva part for the Festiva vehicles, and you can use that one, or you can just buy the whole assembly. The assembly used to be like really expensive, but now... A lot of companies are making them, so they're getting inexpensive, so it's up to you what you want to do. And a lot of companies are just getting the Festiva things, and they're just making their own. All right, but anyway, that's how you get it to work. Quick, hopefully, but this applies to the LR4, the LR3, the Disco 4, and the Disco 3. They all got the same mechanism. I don't know if there's other Land Rovers that have this mechanism, but 
it's got this mechanism it'll work well talk to you later have a good day subscribe